Production and productivity of oil palm and cocoa is one of the objectives. Over 5,000 hectares of new oil palm and 6,000 hectares of cocoa plantations will be cultivated mostly in the various oil palm and cocoa belt areas of Sierra Leone. Already, 4,500 individual farmers have outplanted and now own one hectare of either cocoa or oil palm. The project manager, in high engagement with community stakeholders, emphasized that the seedlings that the ABDP brought into the country are hybrid seeds, and therefore they need less than three years for them to be productive. The seed that we carry, the oil palm seedlings, they they're also very expensive, but because of very good variety to them, and they go where you plant them quick, the seed don't grow you even for harvest, you even for getting more. The project they go all down there for una, for make the farmer then come more out of poverty. Emphasis are placed on climate smart agricultural approach to protect the environment. Beneficiaries operate in groups of 25 to 30 members, including women and people with disabilities. 25 years old Seya Kamara of Kabombe community in the Bombali district is now a proud owner of an oil palm plantation. Seya says the future is very promising for her and the entire household. Then train me say three years if we begin born. If this is the bomb, then we they eat the banga, we they pull it by mine, we they able to sell for pay for picking their school, we they able to solve your own problem. A man no go do anything for you, we they able to do it for you safe. And they be don't say we say we the woman they for come out being yard. First time now we they be in yard, but now for come out, we back for map stronger for picking their school, no picking their land. Technology is transferred through the farmer fee school approach. A farmer-led, on-site teaching and learning methodology where basic agronomic practices and hands-on farming skills are facilitated by trained extension officers from the Ministry of Agriculture. It will increase the livelihood and income of 11,000 farming households over the period of six years. The objective of this component is actually to enhance the economic viability of you know, tree crops and uh, climate resilience of oil palm and cocoa and link them to private sector markets. Over the years, low private sector investments, lack of high yielding inputs and technology have slackened the growth of oil palm and cocoa. However, IFA through the Ministry of Agriculture is supporting national research institutions like Jala University for technical backstopping and undertaking pre-nursery of seedlets while the Sierra Leone Agricultural Institute Slurry is supported to rejuvenate the pendable and poorable cloner gardens to reduce future importation. With the advent of the AVDP, Slurry has been able to establish 15 hectares of cocoa, 10 hectares in pendable where we are, and then 5 hectares in Puwabu. And um, the materials we use in the establishment of the 15 hectares, 80 to 90 percent, we are gotten from the Reading University Quarantine Center, RUQ in Kew Garden, UK. And these materials are free of pests as well as diseases. AVDP has actually contributed tremendously to slurry by helping us um, establish collaboration with the United States Department of Agriculture (USDA). The end result of the AVDP project under slurry would be hand pollination, or what we call manual pollination of the cocoa. The potential of this project, the AVDP, has for the country is that. Um, in two or three years time for us to be able to get um, improved hybrids those hybrids will be supplied to smallholder farmers in the country